Hello everyone, I am Sir Smith with That Ink's Popping. Where the ink does what it say, it pops. Today's tutorial is going to be a fun one. Since school is starting and everyone is going around in frenzy wanting to shop for their kids' clothing, why not do your own DIY sublimation t-shirt for your child, your teenager, or hey, maybe yourself. Your own. So, in order to do the DIY, you will need a blank polyester t-shirt. 100% polyester is the best, okay? You also will need your sublimation paper. And guys, don't forget your lint roller. Also, your heat transfer tape, okay? Your heat resistant transfer tape at that. And don't forget that at that ink's popping, we sell sublimation ink for everyone needs. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. You know it's hard out here for the things when your printer's not printing what you think. We have all the colors that you may need from a company that name is that ink's popping. Hard out here for the things when your printer's not printing what you think. We have all the colors that you may need. From a company that name is Daddy's Papa. All right, everyone, we are back. And let's jump right into it. Let's try to make this very, very brief, okay? So, what we're doing today is um, I'm going to use the images here for my DIY Back to School 2021 t shirt, okay? So, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be. I'm going to use this square here as my guideline because I have measured my shirt and I want to work inside this square here. And I'm going to move this over. We're going to drag this down. And as you guys see here, that we're able to still see because it has the red outline, which is the cut line. And if you want to change that color, if you have watched one of my tutorials before, you click here. And you could change to any color that you would like, okay? And click back on the first. Then, you know, here we go. You see? It changed to any color that you like. But I'm gonna change back to red. Cool. Alright, now let's get started. Okay. So I'm gonna take my Dragon Ball Z character here, and I'm going to drag him over. And also, my Dragon Ball Z character here has a red outline. So if I want to change that, I just click here and just change it to white. You got to make sure it's white, white, okay? Because if not, it'll show up on your print, okay? So, or you could just click that, which show anything, you know, nothing. But click here, white, and my background is white. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see better. Cool, let's go. Okay, so remember, okay, I'm working inside this square here, okay? So just watch me work. I'm talking, you know, along as I'm doing it. And again, I am using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. They have free edition, okay, everyone? But I'm using the Business Edition. Remember, they have free edition, okay? So you could go to their site, silhouette.com. And you could download the free edition. And if you would like to, you could pay for their edition, okay? All right, now back to our PNG file here. So I want to use the Dragon Ball. I may use the Dragon Ball Z thing here. And this here is back to school. So let me shrink this for now. Going to make it smaller. And I'm just going to place everything where I would like to for it to look like inside this square. So I'm just going to click on back. I'm going to say, I'm going to shrink it a little bit, shrink it. Two, let's say if I'm going to go, let me see if I'm going to have a look in the middle. Back, make it a little bigger. Make sure I make this a little bigger, okay. And guys, remember, you can do anything you want. That's what I'm doing now, okay? I'm just showing you guys how we use the program and 
how I'm doing, how I'm going to, going about getting the trick done. So I'm just going to shrink this for now. Just going to put it here. And it's a back two. Let me move this out the way. I want you to have two. Let me shrink two. Maybe her and school. Okay, let me see. Drag this over a little bit. And remember, guys, use your own uh, design to do what you would like, okay? So I'm just going to keep that, keep that there for now. I'm going to zoom out so I can see my 2021. Zoom back in. Okay, so now let me see here. What can I do here? Back to school 2021 okay so let's make it smaller for now bring up school to make it smaller we'll drag this out for now because what i want to do is um i want to click here Hold shift. I'm gonna click this. Hold shift still. Keep keep holding shift and click all the items. And what I want to do is make them all small together at once. I'm gonna shrink them at once. Boom. You see how I do that? Did that? Okay. And I'm gonna click away so it could unclick everything. Unselect. I want to have back looking bigger. Okay, it's a statement back. Okay. And let's bring 21 in here. But before then, I want to shrink a little bit. Okay, let me make it a little bit smaller. If that happened to you guys, remember, just click off and boom, click back on and move it. Okay. So bring it down here. I guess I can enlarge it a little bit. I think that look nice. So what I want to do is make sure all these are center. So I will click this one here, select this one here, since it's already select, I will start with this one here. Then I will hold shift and I will click school and I will click the, Z, the Dragon Ball Z fighters and I will click back. Then I will go over to here and click here and I will say, Align center, and you see what it did now. Everything is center. You see how I did that? And I want to click here so I can make sure everything is even in these area here. Okay, so for me to deselect everything, I'm just clicking to the empty spot. Okay, empty space. And let me scroll down a little bit, let me zoom in and see how they look. Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Let me see anything about two. Okay, I mean, I kind of like it there. Let's make two bigger. Let's give it a little, give it a little taste, a little flavor. Two, make it a little smaller. Uh, I didn't like that. Let's see here. Uh, back to school. Back. To school, but I kind of like it there. Let me drag this over here and let's start playing around. So I'm gonna have a Dragon Ball here. And there's, and if you guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, they have in order to make a wish, you guys have to have seven Dragon Balls. That's what they call Dragon Balls. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I'm going to take this Dragon Ball here, and I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to click and drag over. You see how they work? Or if I want to duplicate it, at, if I want to dupl uh, duplicate, I could also go to Object. You see it say Replicate, and I can say Duplicate left, right, above, below. I'm just going to go, or here, here's the... Short keys, two, uh, two guys, the short keys, okay, for the keyboard. I'm going to say uh, duplicate below. Okay. I'm thinking right click. Let me see. No. 
No, you can't right click. So let's go back to objects, replicate, duplicate below, or control down arrow. Okay. So what we're going to do is for now I'm push control down arrow when I'm duplicate something. Okay. So I need seven of these here. So hold control and push the down arrow on your keyboard and voila. And let's do it one more time. Two more times. Okay, so we have seven drag balls. Okay. So now it's up to you guys where you want to put them at. You know, put them at. So let me see here. What I want to do with this one here. I'm trying to see if I want to use this in. Do I want to use this in here? Uh, let's make it smaller then. Let's see from there. All right, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to make this smaller. You see, just, and just play with it. Make this stuff from here and have... This over here. Let me move some of these out the way. Bring this back in here. Because, you know, young boys. Well, hey, you know what? Anyone, young females would love, if they like Dragon Ball Z, they would love this logo also. They would say, oh, look, I got a Dragon Ball Z back to school shirt. So I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Let me move these Dragon Balls out the way. I'm trying to make this tutorial here fast. Short if possible click off okay so back to okay school let's bring it down a little bit give it a little more space okay open this up a little bit all right, now when I line up all, you know, these items here, so I just, I have this one selected already. So all I have to do now is just hold shift and whatever item I want to do from there, I just click on it while I'm, while holding shift. Okay. Boom. Look at that. Then I go back over here, click that and click here. Boom. Align center. And I also click here. Boom. To make sure everything's space correctly okay so you know what to be honest guys I'm liking that um, I'm like I'm liking this remember make it your own you know make it to your you know make it into your own you do what you like so I'm liking this I'm just gonna keep it like that okay uh, get a Dragon Ball little flavor make some bigger than other make some smaller you know you don't have everything just so big Maybe down here, I'll make this one here a little bigger, give it a little taste. Okay, bring this one in here, maybe right there. Make it smaller though, I'm gonna make it smaller, boom. Okay, bring this one in here, make it smaller, give it a little taste. About right there, okay, cool. This one here, that's fine right there. And I'm going to see by here. Uh, cool. Okay. Hey, this is what we came up with. Okay. This is what I'm going to go with. Okay, guys. So now you guys remember this white square box that I said I want to design in. I'm going to just click on it and just drag it out the way. Now I'm going to select all my items. And I'm going to group these. Okay, so you could also go to edit. Hold on, let me. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Uh, you go to object and you click group, or on a keyboard, keyboard, the short key, Control Z. Okay, Control G. So, boom. And now look, when I click off, if I just click here, whatever I do, it's still gonna be together. You see that? You see how that works? Voila. Okay, cool. So I'm going to zoom out. Click here, move this out the way for now. 
carry this over here, drag this back in here, and I want to make sure, because this here, I'm going to put this on the back of the shirt. I want to make sure, you know, have a little flavor for the back of the shirt. And you, as you guys see here, it say, back at last. And you know what? I'm going to, uh, I want to, I want to uh, use some of the Dragon Balls for this too. You know, might as well have some fun with it. So, what you can do is uh, you can right click and say ungroup. I'm going to do it again, okay? I'm going to click on it, right click, ungroup. Boom. And if I want to select a certain Dragon Ball, all I got to do is just click on one of them and hold shift and just do this. And just click on each every other one that you want to use, okay? Then you hold, or you could go edit, you could go copy. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to edit, copy. Then I'm gonna go edit, and you could paste in front, or you could just paste. I'm gonna say paste. And you see what happened? It pasted those ones here. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm just gonna move this out the way. And I'm going to put it in here. Okay. Now let me zoom back in. So we can see what we're working with, right? So now it's up to you guys how you want to fix it up. Whatever you use. So again, here I go again. I'm going to fix this up the way I like it, okay? So I'm going to click off of it. And I'm going to say, okay. Uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking these already here. So now let me see here. I want to do something special. Okay, let me back. Let me see how this looks. Okay, let me just put one here. Let me see here. Let me see. Remember, guys, I'm just doing what I want to do. Let me move this one out the way because I came up with an idea. Let me see if I want to make this bigger. And we're going to send to back. Right click her, send to back. Boom, there you go. Oh, I like that. Let me see. Yes, I like that. You see, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me click on every drag, uh, drag ball. Because I want to make sure the outline is red because you never know. Boom. I mean, I want to make sure the outline is uh, white. I'm sorry. Because you never know, okay? So click on this here, change the outline to white. It, it's supposed not to print, but hey, you never know with these software nowadays. Okay, so I kind of like that. Let me see how this look if I make this bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me bring this forward. Let me bring it to front. Okay, let me see here. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Let me bring this in here. Find a space for it. Okay. Uh, let me just this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure I count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because there's only supposed to be seven Dragon Balls that you're supposed to make a wish with. Okay? Oh, Dragon Ball Z, the cartoon, if you're familiar with it. Alright, I like that. I'm not going to go too much deeper because you guys know I'm trying to make this a short tutorial. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to click on this square here, move it out the way. Let me zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to select the empty spot, drag. And I'm going to right click, group, or control G on your keyboard, okay? All right. See, look, I have, we have what, we have our ready to made DIY t shirt. Only thing we have to do now is just print, okay? So let me save first. Let it save, okay? All right, cool. All right, here we go. Now we, oops, 
Control Z. Let me drag this little bar over and let me click, click on the empty spot. Right click, group. Boom, here we go. Let's get, let's get rolling. Click here, drag it over. All right. You know, drag it to here. And remember, here it shows your width and your height of your paper size, okay? Here I will be using 13 by 19 sheets, okay? So it could fit here. I don't have any uh, 11 by 17, so I'm going to use my I'm going to use my uh, 13 by 19 sheets. And you know what? Oh, I just thought of something, guys. Let me just uh, I'm going to hold up and click on this item and watch what I do. That when I uh, A L T on the keyboard, A L T on the keyboard, and I'm click on it, drag over. Okay, I came up with some ideas. I came up with idea. I'm gonna right click. I'm going to ungroup. And what I'm gonna do? Oh, they're gonna be nice. I'm going to delete these. Click on the delete. Click on delete. 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 For my empty space here that I'm going to have left from my 13 by 19 sheets, I could take these here, and I could also, if I want to, on the uh, on the T-shirt, I could just uh, also press these while I'm at it. Right? You guys get it? So. I'm going to hold up, drag over, boom. You see that? So I'm going to be just wasting paper. So let me click here and drag that down a little bit. Make sure I don't get it in the way of this. Cool. Here we go. Okay. So this one, two, see, I had to count. I messed up. Here goes seven. Hold, click on it, hold up, and drag over and let go. And there we go. See? All right. All right. Now it's time to print. It's saving at the moment. All right. Here we go. Time to print now. Let's get into it. Make sure you click here because that's what I did. I went to it. Click. Okay. This going to pop up. And you're going to click print. Boom. This going to pop up. Whatever print, whatever, whatever printer you are using, you had to click on it, okay? I'm going to use this printer here, my Airspin ET8550 series. And I'm going to go to Preface. All right, here we go. My paper source for this printer here would be rear paper feeder. My document size, you choose your paper size. Remember, choose your paper size. And you guys remember, I'm going to use, I'm using 13 by 19, right? So it would be the Super B, the Super B, 13 by 19 paper source, you know, document I'm going to use. Okay? I want to have my or orientation, portrait, my paper type. I'm going to click on it. No, 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 no. You want to have it, okay? Presentation, paper, mat. Presentation, paper, mat. Click on it. Boom. Here we go. Color, color. Quality, it depends on you and your print. It depends on what you want to do, okay? But for me, I'm going to do high, okay? There's no there's no written rule on which one you use. You use what, hey, what's best for you. Whatever you feel is needed, okay? Um, but here, I'm going to say high. Uh, ignore. Copy is one. Uh, eh, okay, I'm going to do the print preview, but you don't have to, okay? I'm going to do it anyway, just to show you what my printer does, what my software does when I do a print preview. Okay, so I'm, I'm moving on from there to up here and go to more options. Document size, same as the main, okay? Output paper, same as document size, okay? Now here... I want to go where it say where it says color corrections. I want to click on custom, okay? Because normally it would be automatic. 
but I'm going to click on custom and I'm going to click on advanced. Okay. And I want to have this highlighted here, which it is color controls and color mode. You choose what you like. Okay. You can test all three of these or four or five. I don't know what you have. Okay. But I'm using, I'm going to use Epson Vivid. Okay. On the first print. Then when I come back, I'm going to use Adobe RGB because I want to see what's the difference between the coloration, okay? So on my first print, I'm going to use Epson Vivid. Boom. Okay? And I'm going to say, okay. All right, voila. Okay, here, as we, as we move on down, and you see how we say additional settings, make sure this is unchecked. Make sure this is unchecked. You want to have this check. You want to mirror image for sublimation printing, okay? All right. You know, if you're not checked, check it. Boom. All right. I go back to main. You don't have to because you can say okay from here. But I always go back and double check. Make sure everything is the way I want it. Then if everything is the way you want it, you just say okay. Boom. You click on apply. And you say print. And as I'm yapping, I have the printer being recorded as I speak, okay? You guys will see that within the video. You will see the printer printing, okay? So I'm going to speed, I'm going to fast forward the printer process as that happens, okay? So I'm going to be quiet for a while because, um, there's no need for me to talk while the printer is um, printing, okay, printing. So I'm going to print.
Okay, guys. Y'all got to see that print. Now, I'm going to remove the print. Let me show you. Hope y'all can see that. And I'm going to load my other paper, okay? Set this to the side. And it's time for me to load my other piece of paper. And during the printing process, I will be quiet, okay? Here we go. Get to see me load the paper. All right. Going, going back over to my computer. Pull it on my chair, and let's rock and roll. Okay. Since we have printed this one already. I'm just gonna click on it, drag it out the way, and I want to print this one now, right? So I'm going to click on it and drag it down. And let me make sure I place it right. Boom. I'm going to keep the Dragon Ball there because, hey, you never know what I could do with them, right? Okay, cool. So we're gonna go to print. Click on print here, preferences, and um, the only thing I'm changing, guys, from the previous print is I'm going back to more options, click on advanced, I'm going to change this to Adobe RGB, because you, remember, you, you guys remember I said I want to test to see what's the difference, hey, I guess for this tutorial, okay? So I'm going to click on OK since I had clicked on Adobe, you know, Adobe RGB. Say OK. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to main. I'm just going to double check real fast. Make sure everything where I like it. Boom, boom. OK. I'm clicking this. I don't need print preview. OK. I'm just doing it for you guys. But I'm going to check it. Uh, also, make sure your image is mirror image. OK. You have to make sure it's mirror image. Mirror, image okay apply print okay and the guys guys remember i'm going to um i guess um be quiet during the printing process uh process okay there's no need me for, for me to talk all right all right guys we are done printing I'm about to get up, grab grab our print, show you guys, and I'm going to stop the video. And what you guys will be seeing me doing next is I'm going to um, put everything onto the shirt, and you guys will see me doing that process there too. Okay, I will be fast forward that process also. And thank you guys so much for being patient. Thank you. Uh, okay, everyone, we are back. And here is our final stage of this tutorial, okay? Keep pressing, okay? Um, let me remove the butcher paper. While something baiting, you always want to put butcher paper at the bottom of your platter, okay? I always double. That's just what I do, okay? Everyone, listen. You do not have to do that. That's just something that I choose to do, okay? It's my preferences. You can do what you like to do, okay? So, and remember guys, we will be heat pressing this t-shirt here, okay? The front and the back, all right? And before we do any type of sublimating on this t-shirt, we have to press the t-shirt, we have to pre-press the t-shirt to get out the moisture that could be trapped inside of the t-shirt, okay? So, you want to smooth it out. 
like so. You want to make sure it's lined up. Okay. Like so. Cool. All right. And I always put maybe a butcher paper on top of it. Just to protect it from the heat on the first press, okay? And when you press, you always want to press between, I, I say, maybe three to five seconds, maybe. With medium pressure. Here we go. All right, we have our first pre-press out the way. Okay, take out the butcher paper and let's get ready to press our first item. Guys, I'm going to start with the back, okay? So I'm going to flip this over. So bear with me, okay? That's just something I'll do. All right, you guys can do what you want to do. When you're doing the front and back of a t-shirt, I just like to flip it over and stuff in the back. Okay. Make sure I have this on correctly. Now, you know you're supposed to be wearing your heat gloves, your heat gloves like that, okay? So if I get burnt, you know, don't laugh at me, y'all. No, you know what? Laugh at me because I'm supposed to be having on my uh, heat gloves because this thing is hot. It burns <laughs> and it hurts. I mean, really, it hurts. Okay. Cool. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a light press. So I can get this side, so this side, I can get the wrinkles out this side and more on the back also, okay? So I'm going to do a light press. All right. Okay. A little more. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing rocking. So walk over here, grab our first design for the back of the t-shirt. And I, I hope you guys can see that. See this? Uh, you remember I said I'm going to do back at last, okay? This is going to be for the back. And I left the tape on there so you guys can see that, hey, you know, I'm not going to line up perfect, guys. I'm just going to be honest, okay? Because I'm not setting in shirt. You guys get the point. But when you do it, and you know you're trying to sell the shirt, you know, you want to try to line up the best way you, you know, the best look you can, okay? Who the hot? Heat gloves, okay? Heat gloves. All right. So here we go. On top of the, on top of the supplementation paper, you want to put your butcher paper to protect your pattern from the gas, the ink, because if you don't, it will, um, Press on, it will show leak, and, you know, and everything, ink and everything on your pressure, okay? On your press. So here we go for 60, well, for 55 seconds on this one here. I want to test between 55 and 60 seconds. Okay, everyone, here we go. Listen up slowly. Voila. I'm going to remove the butcher paper. And guess what? I have on my heat glove. <laughs> I, I know better. It's hot. Okay, so. And one of the reasons why I like to use two bushel paper at the bottom because after I get to press it, if I don't have a slide out drawer, I use that as a slide out drawer in some fashion. Let's slide a little bit so I can get to my design. Look at that, look at that, look at that. All right. Okay, that was 55 seconds. And remember, this here was, this design here was Adobe RGB. And you guys remember that I said I wanted to test. And look, 
let me get up. Let me come around here so I can grab it and let y'all see. Bear with me. Okay. I'm gonna wrap my arm around the camera and let y'all see. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, time to do the front. Okay. And y'all know those Dragon Balls that I was telling you that, um, I use for the bottom of the sheet and how you know you could do something with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, press. I may, you know, I may do those uh, little Dragon Balls on the arms, on the sleeves of the shirt. Try to make it look something. Try to make it look different. You never know. I may see a little boy walking around here and decide to give me this shirt for free. All right. Smoothing this out. And remember, when you are pre-pressed, you do not have to pre-press more than once, okay? That depends on you if you want to. If you see some wrinkles, wrinkles or something that you want to get out, that's up to you. But you don't have to do more than once if there's no if there's no uh, wrinkles, okay? So, all right, you guys know, here you go for the front of the shirt. Okay. So, boom. All right. Let me get my butcher paper. Stay it on top. Let me make sure I set my time right on my heat press. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I looked. This time I'm going for 60 seconds, okay? 60. All right. Here we go, guys. I'll be back after 60 seconds, okay? 60. All right, everyone, be back. Here we go. Step away from the gas. All right. About to remove. Remove this paper. About to remove our supplementation paper. And I'm going to go ahead and do the orange, okay? Before I reveal the, the look, okay? So bear with me, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. So before I show you guys the shirt, I'm going to do a certain area. I want to do these sleeves too, okay? So I'm gonna start with this this side here first, and let me grab my designs. And I'm going to do the front and back. Just something I want to do. Let me give it a little, give it a little look. And we'll see what it looks like after that. Okay. So I'm going to start with this sleeve. Let me get the butcher. My butcher paper. And sometimes you want to try not to redo the whole shirt if possible, because you, especially the white shirt, because it can burn. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over, okay? I'm going to slide it over like so. I'm going to see how much. And I'm just going to leave about this much there. And I'm going to check my time. All right. And I'm about to press, okay? Okay, we're back. Uh-oh. 
So, y'all won't believe what just happened. It's dead on the floor. That shit. Can't believe I did that. That's okay though. Okay, it looked it look nice. All right, so now, let me go ahead and grab out the other side. So I can do the other side of the sleeve. So next time, I'll make sure I hold the shirt. You guys see what happened? <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm just over here just trying to get back for you guys so fast. Let me slow down. It's not like y'all going anywhere, right? Slow down and so make sure I do this right. Okay. Make sure I didn't do the same design. <clears throat> okay, cool. So I'm going to flip this this way. Grab my butcher paper. Okay. I'm going to hold on to the side here. Move my hand away from the press when it come down. And I'm going to press for 60 seconds. All right, this time, let me make sure I grab the side. All right, here we go. I have a, I grab the side of the t-shirt this time, so I'm gonna drop it. Okay. See, that's why I sometimes I don't like wearing heat gloves because it'd be hard to grab that sublimation paper at times. But hey. All right, guys. I'm going to show y'all the design now. The light not so great, but I will show you guys again once I get back into the house. And the reason why I'm outside this time is because one of my plugs is tripping. Got to have an elect electrician come over and fix that but hey this ink is popping it look good and i will show you guys a bit i will i will show you guys again the shirt in a better lighting okay peace out all right guys i'm back and as promised here go a different view of this shirt okay and in, in better lightning i'm going to get a close-up i'm trying to stay out the, sh the light myself just so you guys can see Look at those colors. They are popping. Okay. And guys, I want to say thank you for everything. And um, thank you for your time. Thank you for supporting me. And guys, remember, um, I will never leave you guys hanging. Um, I will try to do the tour as much as I can. But as you guys keep me busy, uh, it's getting harder and harder for me to do tutorials because you guys support. And I thank you guys for that. I really do. Thank you guys so much. And if you can, don't forget to like and subscribe. And Sir Smith out.